Anthropic has just made a huge move that many people have been waiting for. On March 20th, 2025, the company announced that its AI assistant, Claude, can now search the internet in real time. This is a big deal because before this update, Claude was only able to use the information it had been trained on. That meant it couldn't look up new events, recent discoveries, or anything happening in the world right now. But that has changed and it's making Claude a much smarter and more useful assistant. For now, this new feature is available to paid users in the United States. But even with this limited release, it's a game changer. Before, people had to rely on Claude's old training data, which could be outdated. Now, with the ability to browse the web, Claude can pull in the latest news, updates, and real-time information. This update makes it much more competitive with OpenAI's ChatGPT, which already has a similar feature. Users who once felt frustrated with Claude's limitations can now enjoy a more advanced, up-to-date AI experience. Anthropic is excited about what this means for its users. So the company has explained that web search will make Claude more accurate, especially when it comes to questions that require the latest details. Whether someone wants to check stock prices, find recent scientific discoveries, or learn about a breaking news story, Claude can now provide answers based on the freshest information available. This is exactly what many people have been asking for, and Anthropic has finally delivered. But the company isn't stopping there. They understand that people worry about misinformation and AI making up facts, which is something called hallucination in the AI world. To address this, Claude won't just pull information from the web, it will also provide direct links to its sources. As interesting as this sounds, it is necessary to know that before the time of this new innovation, Anthropic has been moving pretty smart. So let's check out what they did. Getting the billion dollars investment. This exciting new feature for Claude is arriving at a really important time in the AI world because it was just three weeks ago that Anthropic, the company behind Claude, received a huge investment of $3.5 billion. This means investors believe in the company's future and want to see it grow even bigger. After this investment, Anthropic is now valued at an incredible $61.5 billion. That's a massive number, showing just how important AI has become. Some of the biggest names in tech are backing Anthropic, including Google, which owns 14% of the company, and Amazon, which has already added Claude to its Alexa Plus service. But that's not all. This web search feature comes right after Anthropic released its latest AI model, Claude 3.7 Sonnet. The company is very proud of this update because they say it's the best AI yet when it comes to writing computer code. And that's a big deal because AI is quickly changing the way software is created. The CEO of Anthropic, Dario Amodi, recently spoke at an event where he made a bold prediction, which was that he believes that in just three to six months, AI will be writing 90% of the code that human programmers do now. If that happens, it could change everything about how technology is built. The timing of this web search update is no accident. Anthropic knows that it's in a fierce competition with OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT. While Claude has always been known for its smart reasoning and ability to handle long conversations, it had one big problem, which was that it couldn't look up new information. Meanwhile, ChatGPT could search the web, making it more useful in many situations. But now with Claude's new web search feature, that disadvantage is gone. This is a huge step forward for Anthropic and for Claude users everywhere. Now, instead of feeling like they're using an AI stuck in the past, users can ask Claude about the latest news, trends and discoveries, and actually get real-time answers. It's an exciting time, and this update shows that Anthropic is serious about making Claude one of the best AI assistants in the world. How this works. Claude's new web search feature isn't just a small update, it's a complete game changer in how people interact with AI. Unlike regular search engines that simply give a list of links, Claude takes things a step further. It actually reads through the search results, understands them, and then delivers the information in a natural, easy to follow conversation. This means users don't have to waste time clicking through different websites to find what they need. Instead, they get clear, well-organized answers right away. And the best part? Turning on web search is as easy as flipping a switch in the settings. Once activated, 
Claude will automatically look up information whenever necessary, making it smarter and more helpful than ever. This upgrade is especially exciting for businesses and professionals. Anthropic has pointed out that many industries can benefit from Claude's web search. Sales teams can stay on top of market trends, financial analysts can track real-time data, researchers can gather information for their projects, and shoppers can compare products from different stores. Before this, professionals had to jump back and forth between AI tools and search engines, copying and pasting information manually. But now Claude can do all that work in one seamless experience. This could save countless hours, making work more efficient in decision-making faster. For financial services, this update could be a complete game changer. The ability to combine old training data with the latest market news means that investment analysts and traders can make better informed decisions. In financing, speed matters. Being able to quickly connect different pieces of information can mean the difference between making or losing money. Claude's new abilities could give businesses a real edge over their competition. But while this feature seems simple on the surface, there's actually a lot of complex technology working behind the scenes. Anthropic has likely spent months perfecting Claude's ability to search the web, understand what's relevant, and decide when a search would improve its answers. The update also ties into other improvements the company has been making. Earlier in the month of March, Anthropic introduced several new tools to make its API more efficient, including better caching and token-saving techniques. For developers, these changes mean they can process more requests while keeping costs down, sometimes reducing token usage by up to 90%. In addition to these improvements, Anthropic has upgraded its developer console. Now teams working on AI projects can collaborate more easily, share prompts, and refine their ideas together. This is especially useful for large businesses integrating Claude into their workflows. Anthropic isn't just thinking about today, it's planning for the future. By investing in both user experience and backend technology, the company is creating something much bigger than just an AI assistant. It's building an entire AI ecosystem, similar to what companies like Microsoft have done to dominate enterprise markets. This is a clear sign that Anthropic isn't just keeping up in the AI race, it's preparing to lead it because it also has some preparations that might be due in the coming months. Anthropic's next move. Anthropic's web search update might just be the beginning of something even bigger. Reports suggest that the company is already working on another exciting feature, which is giving Claude a voice. This means that, in the future, users might not have to type at all. Instead, they could simply talk to Claude, just like they would with a friend or a smart assistant like Alexa or Siri. Mike Krieger, Anthropic's chief product officer, recently shared some hints about this in an interview with the Financial Times. He explained that the company is thinking about how Claude can evolve beyond just a chatbot. If Claude is going to help users manage tasks on their computers, talking to it might feel much more natural than typing. Imagine being able to ask Claude to schedule a meeting, open a document, or even summarize an email, all by using your voice. That could completely change how people interact with AI. It looks like Anthropic is already exploring partnerships to bring this idea to life. The company has reportedly had discussions with Amazon, as well as Eleven Labs, a startup that specializes in AI-generated voices. Anthropic is serious about bringing voice capabilities to Claude, which could make AI more natural and accessible. Typing can feel slow, but talking is faster and easier. With web search rolling out and voice on the horizon, Claude is evolving into a smarter, more human-like assistant that listens, understands, and truly helps users. And this makes AI users to think of what this development means for OpenAI. Is Anthropic competing against OpenAI? Now that Claude has finally learned how to search the internet, just like other smart chatbots such as ChatGPT, Google's Gemini, and Mistral's Lashat. Before now, the company behind Claude believed that it was better for the AI to work on its own without searching the web. But with so much competition, they changed their minds. Now Claude can look up new information online and give answers based on the latest updates. However, there is a challenge with AI searching the web. Sometimes these chatbots make mistakes. They might misunderstand the information they find, mix up facts, or even give completely wrong answers. This is called hallucination, and it's a problem that all AI chatbots face, not just Claude. 
A recent study from the Toe Center for Digital Journalism found that popular AI chatbots, including ChatGPT and Gemini, give incorrect answers more than 60% of the time. That means if someone asked 10 questions, at least six of the answers might be wrong or misleading. Another report from The Guardian showed that ChatGPT's web search feature could even be tricked into creating false summaries of events. This means users have to be very careful when relying on AI-generated information. So with Claude now having internet access, it has entered a new phase that ChatGPT seems to be lacking. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.